Okay, so you're interested in a mic that is just about to be released. You do some research on YouTube and watch every review video out there. That sells it for you and you order the mic for yourself. You finally get it and plug it into your camera, but your mic sounds totally different than every video you've watched on YouTube. And it can really boil down to five big differences between you and that content creator. So let's talk about what those are and what you should do about it. Now, any one of these differences alone is enough to make a mic sound different between you and someone else. But combined, it can sound totally different. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. You and this content creator have different voices. So all of our voices are like fingerprints, they're unique. And they all fall within different frequency ranges. Some people have lower voices and other people have higher voices. So if a review you watch has a content creator that has a totally different sounding voice, that could be the main problem. Because if you don't know, some microphones are designed to enhance certain frequencies and to take away certain frequencies. And depending on your voice and their voice, that mic could be doing them a huge favor, but you not so much. The next big difference is their recording environment. And this is kind of a difficult one to explain because sound treatment for one person can look and sound totally different than sound treatment for another person. And just because one person is recording in a totally untreated room doesn't mean that that room sounds exactly like your untreated room. There could be different things like rugs, carpets, curtains, hardwood floors, large screen TVs, bookcases with or without books, hard tables, or soft sofas. Never mind the size of one room versus another. All of those things can make a huge difference with regards to how a microphone picks up your acoustics. Never mind the fact that they could be recording in a studio like mine where I've invested thousands of dollars in acoustic treatment so that I can do professional voice work. So for example, all of the audio in this video is going to be through my Rode VideoMic Go 2 plugged into my Sony ZV E10. This is what it sounds like in a highly acoustically treated space. And here we are down in my dining room, which is a totally untreated space with a ton of hard reflective surfaces. So even though we are on the same microphone at the same camera and the same audio record settings, you should be able to hear how the environment really can affect how a mic sounds. Next big difference are your cameras. Now, yes, you know that based on image quality, not every camera is equal, but that also holds true for their audio quality. Some have super clean preamps and others not so much. So say for example, I'm recording this on my Video Mic Go 2 into my Sony ZV E10. But if I take that microphone and put it on a different camera, let's say a GoPro Hero 8, with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 plugged into the GoPro audio adapter. So you should be able to see how different cameras really can affect the way mic sound. So aside from the sound of your voice, your recording environment, and the camera that you're recording into, the next big difference could be your mic technique. So what do I mean by mic technique? Well, that's just kind of like a fancy term to describe how you speak into a microphone. So think about it this way. If we equate microphones to camera lenses, depending on which kind of lens you use, you need to be X distance away from the camera. The same is true for microphones. Depending on how sensitive they are and what their pickup patterns are, how close or far away from a mic you are definitely has an effect on its sound. Let's take my setup out to my car and I'll show you exactly the difference between what you could be doing and what a YouTuber could be doing. So let's say you and your favorite tech YouTuber have the same camera, the same microphone, and happen to have the same car. And they get in their car and shoot a video that sounds like this. But when you get in your car, you shoot a video yeah, it sounds like this. So what accounts for the difference in sound quality? Well, it's mostly because your setup looks like this, while their setup looks like this. So even though you have all the same gear, good mic technique can definitely improve your audio. And one other big factor that could account for that huge difference in sound is that your favorite YouTuber is using post-processing on their audio. Now, some channels will say that their audio is completely raw, meaning it's going straight from the mic into the camera, into their editing software with no enhancements. Well, maybe a slight boost in volume by adding a few dB. And by doing this, they're trying to give you the most accurate representation of what the mic sounds like without any of the fancy accoutrements afterwards. But for some creators who may be more visually focused than audio focused, presenting the audio in a mic review raw may not even occur to them. In fact, a lot of them probably have built-in audio presets in their editing workflow that automatically adds things like EQ and compression based on their specific voice. And it's not that they're trying to mislead you, but it could just be an inadvertent omission or inadvertent addition. Something that they just always do for every other video and just 
happen to forget to not do that for this particular one. And to be honest, some of them probably can't even audibly recognize if they've added post-processing or not, especially if they're using a microphone that they've never used before. So now that you know why there might be differences between your microphone and a YouTuber's review microphone, what can you do about it? Well, the biggest thing is to watch these mic reviews with a grain of salt. You know, if you go in with the understanding that what you hear over YouTube, which isn't necessarily the most accurate audio to begin with, gets you in the general vicinity of what the mic sounds like, then you'll have much more realistic expectations. You can also do things like watch reviews from lots of different creators, both people with experience in audio and people without, and create with lower voices and higher voices. That will give you a much more well-rounded idea of what the mic capabilities actually are. So hopefully this helped you understand why your mic might sound different from a YouTuber's mic, and that even though they might sound a little different, doesn't necessarily mean that it sounds bad. So if you have any specific audio questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.